Today I'll show you how to open a secret door for an escape room using a chess set. I got this chess set from eBay. I think it was about $5. I chose a specific one because the board and the pieces are made out of wood. I had some small magnets lying around. First, I need to measure them. I used a Forstner bit. Luckily, I had one with the exact size. To solve the puzzle, a specific game should be played on the board, and I decided to use the two knights to be at the right position to solve the puzzle. Now we need to drill a hole at the bottom of the knights to insert the magnet. Never use your hand to hold any piece you're drilling. I learned this the hard way. As this is only a prototype, I just use the marker to write the letters and numbers that identify the rows and the columns. I measure the position of the squares I'm using to mark them on the bottom of the board. I use a multimeter to know when the circuit is open or it's closed. These are the same read switches we used in the previous project. If you noticed, I placed the read switches with an offset, and I'll show you why. This represents the read switch, and this the square on the board. The read switch has a range in this area, represented by the red oval. It has one on the top, and one on the bottom. There's an area in the middle that sometimes the switch doesn't detect the magnet. By using two read switches, 
with an offset position, you can cover the area where the magnet could be located. The inner circle represents the magnet and the outer circle represents the base of the chest piece. In the areas where the magnet won't be detected, the knight will be outside the square. As long as the chess piece is inside the square, the magnet will be detected. I bought these reusable connectors on eBay. They're great to just test any connections and they can also be used as a permanent connection. You can use as many read switches as you need, as long as they're connected in series. Here is a schematic from the last project. It uses the same connections. You can find more detailed explanations how this works at my Patreon page. And here it is. While playing an escape room, you'll find clues for a piece of paper that shows a game. Now, if you play the game on the chessboard, you will open a secret door that could give you next clue, a piece for a next puzzle, or simply a key. Thanks for watching and don't forget to share, like and subscribe. Extra footage and STL files are available in my Patreon page. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Here you can also click on the links for the videos on how I printed, painted and made the electronics for my Iron Man helmet. I'll see you next video.